All black holes spin at least a little, but this one is exceptionally fast, spinning at over 563 million miles per hour, or 84% the speed of light. The star that collapsed to create a black hole had at least some amount of spin, and as the star fell inward, its angular momentum was massively amplified. But since nothing from inside it can reach the outside world, what does that even mean? How can we measure how fast it's spinning? The answer to that is even crazier than its speed, and it leads to some weird effects. Like particles on the outside of the black hole moving much faster than the speed of light. Let's take a closer look. The black hole in question is called NGC 1365, located at the center of the Great Barred Spiral Galaxy about 52 million light years away. It has 2 million suns worth of mass, which puts it somewhere towards the mega chonker end of the spectrum. Unlike Olad Hikumen, a black hole's mass exists inside the event horizon where no information can escape to the outside world. Because of this information trap, there are only three properties that make any black hole different from any other one. Mass, electrical charge, and spin. That's it. Beyond these traits, one black hole is completely indistinguishable from any other and nothing else Else is allowed to make it unique. But if nothing can escape, then how is its spin even measured? How does the spin manage to affect the outside world at all? In this video, we focused on a pulsar that spins at 24% the speed of light. That is exceptional in a completely different way because it's an actual clump of mass spinning at that speed without tearing itself apart. That's a testament to the immense gravity of neutron stars. A black hole is completely different because every aspect of what we experience from it isn't due to the singularity, its actual mass. Instead, everything we can observe is completely caused by its effects on the fabric of space-time. So when a black hole spins, it's space-time itself that we're seeing spinning. A black hole is a tear in the universe. Space-time is being pulled inside in a frantic whirlpool of spinning chaos. Material caught up in this mess is what we can measure to determine the speed of the black hole spin. This all takes place in a region right outside the event horizon called the Ergosphere. And space-time spinning this fast leads to some weird effects. For one, nothing can stay still, even if an object moved out at the speed of light in the opposite direction to the rotation, it still wouldn't be fast enough to not move in the direction of rotation from our perspective. And you might see where this is headed. As always, nothing can move faster than light relative to space-time. Say the fastest that I can pedal my bicycle is 15 miles per hour no matter what. If I swerve onto one of those airport conveyor belts, then I'll make a lot of people really mad. But if the belt is moving at 5 miles per hour, then that adds to my speed and I am now moving past the ground at 20 miles per hour, even though I still can't pedal faster than 15 miles per hour. If space itself is moving super fast like in the ergosphere of a black hole, then things can still go through space at light speed in addition to the velocity of space. So in comparison to the normal space just a little farther away from the black hole, things can and do move much faster than light speed. Since we can't see inside a black hole, weird events like these are the only way to learn more about them. To get the full experience, you would have to do something much more extreme, like fall right into one. To see what that would be like, take a look at this video. It would be an extremely weird experience with all sorts of surprises, and it would instantly turn you into a time traveler. And you'd be living in the far distant future, so far into the future that the sun and the earth would no longer exist.